Hey everybody, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, it's a beautiful, snowy, five degree day in Michigan. Um, you know, before we get started, I uh, appreciate it if you hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you already haven't. Um, channel's actually grown a little bit in the past few weeks. I think I'm up to about 117 subscribers, so I really appreciate it. Uh, never would have thought that many people would care about what I would was doing. Um, but uh, so today, I'm trying to stay warm, got my Joe's Premium Firewood hat that I just got. Got my Zippo hand warmers in my back pockets. I call them butt warmers and not hand warmers, right? Uh, and I've got my trusty Fiskars splitting axe and um, my trusty Fiskars. I think this is an eight pound. It's probably eight pound splitting maul. I've rubbed the sticker off, so I don't even know anymore. Um, but uh, I've had these for quite some time and I do split quite a bit of wood with them. Not as much as most, but a fair amount. And um, the only thing that I've noticed is this collar here. I developed a crack in it right here, so I don't know how much longer that's going to last. But uh, with this ash wood, I'll actually use this maul over the axe. And there's a really good reason for that. Um, you know, obviously not all hardwoods are the same. Ash, I find, is a really hard hardwood um, where something like oak or cherry... Although a hardwood, it's nice straight grain and it splits really easy. So with those, I'll use this axe, right? Um, but I don't find I have very good luck with the axe on the, uh, the ash. Um, because while I can develop more kinetic energy with the axe, I can't get the momentum that I would need or that I find I need uh, that I get with the maul. Um, now, uh, later... What I'll do is I'll get through, I'll, I'll have a round of ash, and then I'll take the axe, and I can do the finish work with the axe. And where, what I mean by that is split it in the smaller sections. It's just once you split that round in half, gives the grain relief, and then that axe, you can split it really easy. But that initial split with the axe uh, can be can, can sometimes be a real pain in the butt. So that's why I prefer the maul. Um, but anyway, you know, stick around. Watch me... Uh, you know, watch an old man sweat and uh, split some ash wood. Now, some of these like this size here, I would actually just go ahead and split on the splitter, but you know what, I'm making a video. Use a little cookie I cut off, that's an ash cookie, to keep the rounds off the the ground, I'm only 5'8", so it doesn't need to be too tall or else it kind of screws up my mojo. When I split, bigger rounds like these, um, even with that maul, I'll hopefully find a, a uh, natural crack in it, like right here. And then uh, what I try to do is work from the furthest edge and then work inward. So I'll hit it here, 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 and here. And uh, usually I have good luck at some point getting through that. I don't know what I'm thinking. I brought this timber tong out and it's just been hanging there minding its own business. I got uh, 
I don't know, four more pieces that I'm gonna split. The rest of them are fine for putting on the splitter. And so let me finish those four up and uh, I'll cut you loose. I saw a crack in this one and I cannot find it. Oh, do you guys see it? I do not see it. I swear it was there. Oh, yeah, well. There's one right here down the center. So I guess I'll hit on that. This one I'm really wondering about, though. It looks like this one has a bunch of knots inside of it. Uh, but we'll see. Well, there you go. I guess it uh, wasn't as big a deal as I thought. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see about this one. The yeah, plow trucks are out. That's good. <laughs> That's funny. The ground's frozen. Whew. There we go. Now I'm gonna work. This one's gonna be tough, so I'm gonna work my way back. Keep working that crack that it's getting. Oh, this one should do it. Oh, close. Come on, dude. There we go. You notice a lot of times I'll squat down too. Like I said, I'm using almost my thighs and my hips to pull my body down as that head's coming down. Uh, like I said, any little bit helps now interestingly enough now technically that I've cut these or split these in half I could probably well sometimes I will hit them with the, the axe just to take the edges off Looks good, huh? There we go. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, splitting wood with a, mainly with a mall, Fisker's mall, my favorite mall. And then I can do some finish work with the uh, ax if I chose to. I mean, here's the, the pieces I was splitting with the ax. They look good, nice square. People actually like that look, I notice. When I deliver firewood, I always ask how I get the the splits that look, you know look like that, um, and uh, yeah, it just takes a little bit of time. I don't have an Easton made axis, so I got a Jason made uh, axe. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's about it. Um, as always, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. You know, if you have a different technique for splitting wood. Uh, greatly appreciate it.